<laughs> we got a Corolla rolling over me. Corolla trying to get in my rolly. Corolla in my rolly. Yeah, you know, I remember when I bought a Toyota Camry and the payments were three twenty eight a month. No, it was a Toyota Cressida. This is back in the day, 20, 28. I was so proud of that car. Oh my God, the car was awesome. And I think the payments were, I don't know, 328, 340, something like that. And I was terrified, Robert. I was terrified. Terrified? What have I done? Oh my God, <laughs> what have I done? I bought a car, it's too much. I should have bought a Corolla. And now today, here we are rolling in a rolly. Rolling in a rolly. It just shows you, man, anything is possible if you're not protesting. Protesting. Blaming. Resenting. Angry. They just consume the host. They consume the host, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They consume the individual. Stuck in the past, you can't create the future you want. If you can put all your attention on the future, you can end up with stuff you, you're like, you can't, you can't even personally make sense of. You're like, this is just ridiculous. I mean, this car is ridiculous. And if anybody knew why I bought this car, okay, why I decided on this car, November the 8th, 2016, I, I purchased this car. I actually leased it because you know how I feel about buying things mm -hmm. that, don't, that don't provide income. The only thing good about this as an asset is that my ass sits in it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not an asset. But it does make me feel good when I when I when I open it up, when I turn it on, when I light it up. I mean, it, 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 I keep the the little the little whatever this is called the nighttime thing. Reminds me of my dreams, reaching for the stars. Yeah. Got to find things, you know. It, it, if that's all it does for me every day, it just reminds me to keep reaching for the stars, then that will be, the car will be worth it. It's like my Tenex ten cufflinks, you know, my little links here. They just, they're reminders, little reminders, little gimmicks I use to remind me to reach for the heavens. <laughs> For the heavens where the legends live. The legends live in the heavens, in their mind. It's expansion. I'm not talking about the law of attraction now, I'm talking about the law of action. You know, because, you know, to do something stupid like this, and let me say, this is stupid, totally ridiculous, completely unnecessary, over the top. It, But it is a symbol of the results of tremendous amounts of action or actions as I say many 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 tens of thousands of actions so I like my car man I like this thing it's white on white it's so white it's so white I could eat rice in here and lose it white rice not brown rice so we're going to the diplomat hotel I'm getting ready to go speak to 800 salespeople 850 salespeople probably in this room all trying to figure out how to sell their product. Many of them stuck in resentment. Commissions aren't big enough. The margins are too low. The customer takes too long. Competition's underpricing me. Customers make decisions and then unwind. All those things that I went through when I was buying that Camry. And before the Camry, by the way, it was a truck. It was a Toyota truck, a little Toyota truck. I think the payments were $199. And before that, it was a 1970 Ford Maverick. No heat, no door handles. Okay, the windows, the only thing, the way I had to get out of the car, I had to unroll the windows. And I took the door handles off one night because I was pulling into a bar. This is back when I was lost in resentment and anger and blame, and I was a victim pulled into this bar one night and there was no parking places and I thought I could make it fit so um, I thought if I just go fast enough it'll make the car skinnier believe it or not and, and, and I went in and I scraped between these two cement posts and sure enough I lost my door handles 
Anyway, this 1974 Maverick, true story, Lake Charles, Louisiana, in Louisiana, in the pit of Louisiana. Humid, hot, and no air. Okay, winter's cold. Cold because it, it's wet down there. And no heat. And man, look, my life was so bad. Life was so bad. It was bad. But you know what? I made that life bad. Because I was stuck in how unfair life had been to me. I lost my dad, I lost my brother, I lost a girlfriend, I was beat up all the time. People in high school didn't like me. I didn't fit in. I mean, all I did, I spent all my time looking at how unfair life had been to me. And the more I did that, it reminds me of these kids protesting around the country right now about the president. The more I protested, because trust me, there's a lot more people protesting every day you, you don't need, you, you know, people don't need uh, to lose a presidency for people to protest. You protest when you wake up in the morning and you don't want to go to work, or you hate your job, or you hate your boss, or you hate your customer, or you hate the economy, you hate your marriage, you hate your kids, you hate, you hate yourself. I lived the first 25 years of my life, I lived over half of the first 25 in that position, a victim. And the more I acted like a victim, the more the world validated me as a victim. So, so see, the point of that is, look, we all go into victim mode, everybody. Everybody needs to understand this. All you guys are like, oh, I ain't a victim. I'm not a victim. I'm a, dude, everybody's a victim. Anytime you protest anything, anytime you protest anything, anytime you resent anything, the price of something, how long something takes, See, I'm always bitching about time. Like, it's taking me too long, let's go. Well, you know what, I'm being a victim at that moment rather than being responsible. And the moment that happens to me, all I'm gonna get, the universe is just gonna keep serving me plates of that stuff that I resent. You gotta, you gotta get used to saying, no, 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 no. If I don't like the way my oatmeal comes to me, I'm gonna make my own oatmeal. And I'm gonna make it, I'm ma I'll make it, I'll, I'll know the recipe so well that I can teach a million idiots how to make my oatmeal exactly the way I want it. So until you do that, you're in protest. And if you're in protest, you're a freaking victim. You're in resentment, you're in anger. You're in yesterday and yesterday don't pay. Woo! <laughs> yesterday don't buy rolls, folks. It don't buy Ferraris, Lamborghinis. It don't buy anything and it definitely won't buy freedom. By the way, if you can't hook up on one of these, freedom's out of the question. So for all of you that are like, that white on white rolls with the little white spirit up front, Okay, and the freaking Starlight Headliner. $400,000 automobile, that's completely ridiculous. It is. And the fact that people are poor is ridiculous. And the, the fact that people only have just enough is ridiculous. The fact that people are scared to spend money is ridiculous. <laughs> it's all ridiculous. Just what side of ridiculous do you want to pick? Can you show them that Porsche tower right there? Average unit in that building's eight million dollars. Eight million, it's ridiculous. They got units in there, 40 million dollars. People, people gave, gave the money two years before they could move in. It is completely ridiculous. How many things do you want me to show you that are ridiculous? They're everywhere, okay? The question you gotta ask yourself is what end of ridiculous do you wants to get on? You know what I'm saying? What end of stupid do you want to be with? Because it's all ridiculous. So every time you see something that's ridiculous, poor person, poverty, protesters in the street, a guy runs for president, first first office he ever runs for and wins, a 30-year veteran career person gets beat, all of it's ridiculous. Okay? Guy wins an Olympic gold medal, ridiculous. Guy wins a silver, ridiculous. A guy never tries, ridiculous. Do I keep going straight? Mm-hmm. It's all ridiculous, man. Everything's ridiculous. What side of ridiculous do you want to be on? Just <laughs>